I will create a Zepito item tail using Swingbone. If you have completed the 3D model using a Modeler X or imported a model from outside, convert it into a Modeler editable format using a Modeleris. This model should be UV unwrapped. Before starting mapping, you need to set up a camera to generate textures uniformly. Depending on the outfit, create an appropriate number of cameras and position them so that there are no blind spots. For the tail used in the example, due to its simple shape and fewer concealed parts, four cameras, top, bottom, left, right, were used. When positioning the cameras, ensure that the areas illuminated by each camera do not overlap. If areas overlap, they will be obscured when generating textures, making them unusable. After setting up the camera, enter painting mode. Choose the resolution and material. Zepito has a maximum resolution of 512, so it's recommended to use the default 512 size. Start painting mode by pressing the start painting button. you'll see an empty layer and painting tools. Press the AI button for AI texture creation. If you've used Stable Diffusion before, you'll recognize the menu. To generate textures in bulk, we'll use the camera set up earlier. Create four slots using the camera creation button at the bottom. Use the plus button to create a new slot and the minus button to remove a slot. Drag and drop the four cameras created earlier from the hierarchy into the slots. After setting your preferences and writing a prompt, generate images using the generate button. The Generate Custom Camera button creates images individually for each camera. The Generate All-in-One button creates an image using all the cameras in the slots at once. For image continuity, use the Generate All-in-One button to generate images all at once.
Once you get the desired image after several attempts, you can apply it using the Apply Texture button. When you press the Apply Texture button, layers are created based on the number of cameras, and the image created by each camera is applied to each layer. Since four cameras were used, you can see that each of the four layers has an image created from the respective camera. Toggle layers on and off to check the images. Areas directly in front of the camera have clear images, but areas at an angle or on the opposite side are output with lower resolution or stretched images. Only use the parts of the images that are directly in front. Erase unnecessary parts in each layer using the Eraser tool. Use the eyedropper tool to pick colors from parts that need to be colored, or use the brush tool to paint them. Using 2D painting view can also help in coloring areas that are obscured or not easily visible. Once all images are organized, export them as a single image to use the texture. Export all images as a PNG file using the Export All button in the Map Source group at the bottom. Now, let's rig the tail item using swing bone. Download the rigging helper mesh files from the asset category in the umodeler hub. Drag and drop the weight transfer file into the scene from the project window. After aligning the weight transfer object position to 0, 0, 0, oh, position the tail model where you want. Open the weight transfer file in the hierarchy and copy the hips bone.
drag and drop the copied bone to move it to a position under the tail modeling. Now move to the rigging mode tab for rigging. There's a slot for the root bone before starting rigging mode. Drag and drop the previously copied hip bone into this slot. Once the root bone is set, press the Start Rigging button to enter rigging mode. Now, you need to connect the root bone and the tail. Since there's currently no bone on the tail side, let's create a bone first. The tail usually starts from the pelvis area, so we'll start from the pelvis bone. However, in Zepito, bones have overlapping scale bones with the same name. We'll start the tail from the scale bone in the same position. Find and select the pelvis scale bone in the bone tree. With the pelvis scale bone selected, Run the Edit Bone tool at the bottom. Among the various rigging tools, use the Add button to create a new bone since you need to create a new one. The bone is created in the same overlapped position, so if you move it in the scene using the gizmo, you can see a new bone moving connected under the pelvis scale bone. Position it in the direction of the tail. Set its position and keep adding bones in the direction of the tail using the Add button. In the example, five additional bones were created and positioned up to the end of the tail. Once all the bones for the tail are positioned, you need to assign weight values to the newly created bones. Use the Auto Weight tool for easy weight value assignment. Press the Apply Auto Weight button in the Auto Weight tool. If you click on the newly created bones, you can see that they have appropriately applied weight values. Now, set the swing bone for the newly created bones. In Zepito, if you create a naming rule for the topmost bone in the swing bone structure, it recognizes that bone and all sub-bones as swing bones. Choose the very first bone you created from the new bones in the hierarchy. We will modify the name of the selected bone. The swing bone naming convention is bone name physics of BC. A represents the drag value which gives an overall swaying feeling. B represents the angle drag value which adjusts the strength of the bone rotation angle. C represents the restore drag value which adjusts the intensity of returning to its original form. The default value for these parameters is physics 10, 15, 20. In the example, the first bone is named tail physics 10, 15, 20. More detailed explanations of these values can be found in the Zepito Studio Guide. Once you match the naming convention of the first bone, the subbones will automatically adjust according to the convention's criteria. All settings are now complete. Export this tail model and export it as a Zepito item, then check it in the playground scene. If it displays correctly, You've successfully created a tail item using AI texturing and swing bone.